Hi, this is Sister D. And I'm Brother Joe. God bless you. And I have a question to ask you. Has life just totally and all the problems with it just worn you out? Are you just totally out of it? You don't know what to do. You just feel like there's no way out. You just feel like there's, there's, there's nothing, you know. But I want to share a passage of the Bible with you. In St. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28, the word says, Come to me. Mm -hmm. All that are tired mm -hmm. and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. You know, it, it's, it's wonderful to know that Jesus makes the invitation. You know, right here you see that the Son of God is making an invitation that we should come to Him. Now, He's not forcing us. He's not making you come to Him. But He makes right. that invitation that if you need help, that if you need a change in your life, he wants to help you. He's offering himself to help you. And that's why he says, come to me. So why don't, why don't you uh, listen to that invitation and let him make a difference in your life. You know, we all have problems of different sorts in life. While we're here in this body on earth, we're going to have different kinds of problems. But the thing is that when you have God on your side, you're going to look at those problems Amen. differently. That's you're right. going to speak to those problems differently. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the difference. When you have Jesus, the problems may still be there, but you have him on your side. And things are going to work for better, for good. You know, because that's his promises. You know, but like his word says, you've got to come. He's waiting for you. You know, I don't know what it is that you're waiting for. You know, to be perfect, God will take you just the way that you are. That's right. With every addiction, every mm -hmm. hang up, whatever that's going on in your life. Amen. He just says, come. He didn't say, come when you're perfect. He didn't say, come when you, everything's great in your life. He just said, come. And when you're obedient to his word and you come as you are, he's going to give you that rest that you so need, not only in your soul, but in your body Amen. and in your mind as well. Yes. And if you could lead us in prayer, you know, because because there's people out there who are hurting, they're tired, they're worn out, and they just don't know what to do. You know, I want to tell you something with the invitation that the Lord makes. I know maybe some of you know that God has been inviting you. Maybe people have been telling you about Jesus Christ. You hear it here and there, and uh, I want to tell you that He's calling you. I know yes. maybe somebody's trying to commit suicide today, but don't do it. Maybe... Um, you're addicted to drugs. But let me tell you, if you come to the Lord, He'll help you. Yes. I want you to pray this prayer. And I know that if you pray it with all your heart, I know He will change you. Yes. I want you to pray with me and say, Father, I come to you yes. in the name of your Son, Jesus. Yes. I acknowledge and I recognize that I'm a sinner, yes. that I have failed. So I'm asking you, forgive me. Jesus... Come into my life, come into my heart, and change me. I want to live for you and no longer for me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, if you said this prayer with all your heart, I mean with all your heart, I believe that Jesus just came into your life. Yes. And he's made you a new person today. Amen. And you know, you speak to that problem in the name of Jesus, that you have the victory, that God is going to make a way, that he's going to move those mountains. You know, now that you've got the Lord on your side, Amen. like the word says, all things are possible to them who believe. God bless you. God bless you.